evening campers, it's your boy me, Kieran, and this was the International Booker Boys. That's me, by the way, just in case you haven't been keeping up with this series. Most wanted, most like anticipated, most look forwarded to book. Maria Stepanova's In Memory of Memory, translated from the Russian by Sasha Dugdale. In Memory of Memory is one of three works which is going to be translated from the Russian into the English this year. Stepanova, who is a poet, essayist, memoirist, author, we'll get into that. It's a work that Stepanova has been working on for over 30 years and the Muscovite author is really ploughing into her family history. With the death of her aunt, she goes through her house, going through her belongings, her memorabilia, her letters, her photos. Stepanova trawls through her family history. It's inevitable that caught in the nets are her family, their relationships, their history, and most importantly, Russia's history. In Memory of Memory is really peculiar in the fact that it's not really talking about her family. It's really talking about the gaps that Stepanova can't quite join together. And rather than her trying to fictionalise some instances, she actually provides what are in this book called Not a Chapter, which are actual letters from her family going far back as her great great grandmother. If you've looked into this book at all, people are calling this meta memoir. It's very like self-aware of what it's doing. And I think with memoir, maybe we should ask a question of why is Stepanova writing about her family? What is interesting about them? When Stepanova was embarking to write this book, she went to the United States National Holocaust Museum and got in a conversation with one of the advisors there. And when discussing what her plan was, he responded with, oh, you're writing one of those books where you go through your history. And Stepanova's response is very utilitarian. It's just, yes, and it's just going to be another one of those books. Based on how nonchalant and how blunt that response is, that this is just another one of those, you might think that Stepanova isn't doing anything new, isn't doing anything different, or that she doesn't feel as though she's doing anything new and different. Th this book is very unique. It's, what's unique about it for most is her family. Born in Russia, they are Jews, and we see Stepanova try to piece their lives through the 20th century. Now, you might already be jumping to the conclusion of, okay, Jewish went to the Holocaust Center. Okay, so we're going to have the Holocaust. World War II is going to be involved. If you know Russian history, the pogroms. Okay, are we going to be talking about that? No, Stepanova's family are unique in the fact that they basically miss most of the tragedies. They weren't affected by any of it. One of her family members is killed in a Leningrad siege and that's it. They're very ordinary and that's what makes her family to Stepanova unique. I mentioned previously that there's a lot of gaps in Stepanova's knowledge from what she can glean from this scrapbook, this vague archive of her family tree, of her family history. And there's interplay between the negative space. We're really looking at the negative space in the family. Within the gaps that we don't know, Stepanova basically just writes essays, like academic style essays about what is the purpose of photography, of film, of capturing a memory, and how does instilling memory within a photo, like what does that mean? And clearly Stepanova's well read. Let's just pick a page, let's, let's see what names we are, oh, maybe not that one. Let's just pick a page, let's see what names we get. We have Isaiah Berlin's personal impressions, we have Boris Pasternak, we have Hurls. I don't know who Hurls is. If you're interested, I'm on page 166. The next page, I have reference to Proust. And let's go to the page before. What's on? We have, oh gosh, okay, we've got a few. Page 164, we have Mandelstam, Kuzmin, Gwipwiz, Busiov, um, Andre Belli, Alexander Bloch. We got a reference to Gogol, 
Thomas Mann, and another reference to Pasternak. Oh, and the Abram Tsvetso Artists Colony. Like, there's a lot going on here, and the majority of these feel more academic than anything else. I think if you're going to pick up in memory, memory, you need to know, like, what you're getting into. Because I didn't know what I was getting into with this book. This is, like, a lecture on memory and what memory is and how it functions. Um, th they are some really interesting, like, observations, um, especially in regards to photography. Th the first 100 pages, I would say, are the most beautifully written pages. And I was, like, all for this. I was like, Stepanova clearly knows how to construct a sentence. Uh, the translator, like, it, it like sings off a page. It, it's beautiful. The next 400 pages, however, Stepanova, like, was at a level where I was lost. There's so many critics of movements and works that are being mentioned. Like, if you're into, like, books about books, I suppose pose this would be one of them like i don't know half of the stuff Stepanova was referencing it's like Stepanova has gone into like a library and has just like like as she's doing with her family just bringing like scraps like collaging it all together and just like sticking it on top but like trying to make sense of like what is memory like how do i process it what do i retain like is is what i retain and what i think back and does nostalgia come into like like what is memory like is it is it true is it false there's a bit at the beginning of the book where she tries to find a house and um she's given the location and she goes there like all these memories flood back she's like yeah like this is the place i needed to be and then she says a few weeks later her friend says oh no it's the right street i just got like the house wrong and it's like, that's the moment where she's like, I'm doubting myself here. This book's written like it's just been festering for 30 years. Stepanova's like really trying to just like get to the heart of like, what is memory? And we have this like lovely um, discussion on uh, like the love really affects memory and love can bring you closer to memory, but it can also repel at the same time. Um, she references Nabokov there. But, but half the time, my head was just hurting, going like, what are we talking about here? In regards to, like, selfies and what, what a selfie means. But she's not talking about, like, modern-day technology. She's all about, like, self-portraits of, of Rembrandt. Or we're talking about the obverse and reverse of objects, where, like, at one point, we discuss how Google Maps is like a really good indication, I think, of memory because a car can be there from a lover who has driven away and if that person looks at their house, that memory's like solidified. There's a lot about photography, film, and like the still image and what it means to like hold an image in place. I, I, I'm not well versed enough. I think if they were intermissions into these essay lecture style writings, I wouldn't mind it. But like, like a good chunk of this 500 page is this just onslaught. Um, and it, it sadly gums up the entire thing. When Stepanova's on a roll, she's on a roll. The prose, again, the writing is spectacular but you stick these essays you stick these lectures you you put in these reams of theory and it just gums up this machine that could have just been like bliss simply this is just way too long like because it's playing with all this negative space Stephen was trying to like cram as much information it is possible and I, I think like with a scrapbook or a collage there comes a point where you just gotta like step away and be like like this is enough like a good writer would know when to stop like it's perfect I just need to like put my tools down and go that's it but it just feels though she's just gone okay I'll just do like a bit more here a bit more here and it's just like, rather than these clean contoured lines, everything's just, like, blended together. 
I'm really disappointed in this one. Like, this is like a 3 out of 10. I'm really gutted to give it that a score because Stebno's prose, like, shines over most on the international prize. She just doesn't know when to stop.